Hello and welcome to Social Buzz Chat, your weekly dose of chat about social media, creativity and really cool people. And this week we have some really interesting people on the sofa. We have Mark and Graham from the startup van. Hello. Yeah, great to be here. I like how, how, you? I like how you replied before him, being as though he hasn't done anything most of the day. Yeah. I have to say, after that SM Buzz Chat, I kind of feel like just being a bit of a mute. Fine. Do you want to swap? Yeah, he should be a mute. He should be a mute. I've warmed up this seat nicely. I'm gonna stay You've here. Up, you've made yeah. my ass crack. Crevice. Yes. You've made the crevice in a sofa. Um, yeah. Welcome. Uh, we're just gonna have a good chat, basically, like these guys usually do to everybody that comes and sits in their van. That might sound a bit awkward, but it's actually a really nice van. It's a camper van that you tour the country. Yeah, it is. It is. It's basically, what we do is we get startups and entrepreneurs into our van using candy. Using candy? Yeah. Oh, and, by, and by candy, I mean free promotion and advice and all that good we stuff. We mean going to can D. So, just trying to dig you out of that one there. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, we'll, we'll get there. You only half dug him out, really. Half dug him out. <laughs> he did all the tweet chat work, you did yeah. nothing. I know, I know. God, my thumbs are sore. Graham's great at it, so I just sat back and watched. Zoolander over there knows where Love the photographs watching. are being taken. Yeah. So, with these shows, we want to find out where people have come from and where their ideas started. Like, everybody who's been on the show has a different background. They've got different experience, they did a different degree, um, they had a different starting job. So, why? Why? Why start a van? Where did it come from? How, what was the origin for it? Like, did you have a really drunken night or was it just, hey, we need to help startups? Mark and I worked together and we used to sit right beside each other and I had a blog interviewing tech companies and he had a blog interviewing entrepreneurs. And I kind of thought like, we need something a bit, a bit different, a bit, because everyone's going, oh, you have a blog, yeah, join, join the queue with the yeah, rest of people have the blog. Yeah. But we also thought like these entrepreneurs we were speaking to every single day were so passionate and had really good advice. So the likes of like, the Richard Bransons and the Gary Vaynerchuks of the world get to be on video and they get to be you know, imparting their advice on people and their passion and their love for what they do. Mm. But a lot of times that's unattainable. Not unattainable, but like the rest of Richard Branson's a billionaire and Gary Vee's going to be a billionaire. Yeah. So yeah. someone that's grinding every single day, if you're comparing yourself to the Richard Branson's of the world, that can be quite hard on your, you can, people can be hard on themselves. So we're like, there's no platform for startups and entrepreneurs that are in the early stage to talk about that passion yeah. and to impart that knowledge so that, how can we do it in a cool way that's a bit different, mm. that will get attention, that people want to come in? And also with, with the before. blogging. With the blogging, as Graham said, what we did before, a lot of it is lost in text. Explain lost in text. A bit as more. in like people's personality yeah. and uh, ambition and motivation. You can't, it's hard to get that across on text. Yeah. Where video, we were kind of going, this has to be short, shareable video. So instead of going down the whole blogging route, we said, right, let's video everything that we do. It's going to be short, shareable, and we also needed to stand out as well. And by doing that, we came up with a startup van. Yeah. You know, so it was a way of enticing Plus it's, people into the van. It's a kind of a way that if someone's really good at writing, we could send off questions and do that stuff that a lot of bloggers do. And people can be really good at writing. And we would meet the startup or the entrepreneur in question, and they wouldn't really be all that passionate about it. Oh. It might be like, a, oh, yeah, I'm just trying to make some money doing this. But what they sent us was really good. So you want to get the pure entrepreneur yeah. that is dedicated. You get that because you put people, it's not on the spot, but in the same way it is, it's like you're there, you're being filmed. Be, be yourself. Be passionate, be yourself. Yeah. And like, there's something for that raw experience. Like everything is so overproduced, everything is so over rehearsed. Yeah. All the videos you do for startups, it is them raw. It's like the elevator pitch if it was shown live. You're on there, this is yeah. you, there's nothing yeah, else just, around, this is what you're gonna be. And um, okay, like you guys, how many startups have you interviewed in total as of today? Like f of since all. you started in July? 225, 226 ish. ish. Um, so it's very easy for us to keep going at this and to wake up at 6 a.m. Mm. and work till 4 a.m. and non-stop because you're in front of these entrepreneurs every day that are 
so passionate and they do not stop. Okay, so like 225, 226. Yeah. What would your, between both of you, what would your three tips be to startups, be it on social media or fuck it, first swear word. Just in general, the swear word gates are open now, it's fine. What would your three tips be? To startups. Yeah, yeah to startups. Well, like if you were a startup, what would your three yeah. tips be? Okay, so it's day one, you've yeah. stupidly bought an office in WeWork. WeWork is great, by the way. Love you've WeWork. Bought it, you've bought it ahead of time, and you then go, okay, what do we do now? What step there's one a couple, be? there's a couple, right? I'd probably start off with, right, okay, well, there's people out there. I'm gonna to talk to the ones that are also thinking about doing it as well, right? Where they've got an idea um, and they're going, do I do it now, do I do it later? Do it now, okay. right? Because the majority of startups that we interview, their biggest regret is that they didn't start earlier. Yeah, that's you popular, know? Or they, that's they didn't they do say. something earlier. So whatever it is you're thinking of doing, do it now. I'm not saying everything you're thinking of doing, but you know, some things as you're going, will I, will I not? Just do it, do it. Yeah. That's one. Yeah. And from the social point of view, because I look after the social and yeah. things, is be being social. And it came up, yeah. yeah. As you saw up, earlier. It came up on SM, SM Buzz Rope Chat. It that, in. That Hashtag is. SM Buzz Chat every Tuesday, 7 p.m. GMT. Plug. Sore fingers. Um, is when, you're, when people start out a company and like, I need to be on social and let's pay for advertising. And we only have 500 pounds this month that we're after taking in. Let's put 250 pounds into social. And you hear these sort of things, and it's like, no, if you have time, yeah. and you do, you know, even if you're doing the, the startup part-time in the beginning, you finish work at five, and you have like all evening and all night. If you put the time in to social, and it got, actually, you know, I was, interviewing a guy today, we were interviewing a guy today that Thank you. wants to, uh, to launch an app. <laughs> <laughs> we. Yeah, we. Wants to launch an app to order vape. One touch, vape, boom, done, and you have the vape delivered to you and it's all easy and blah, 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 right? And he was like, you can't advertise, va-. and he was struggling going, you can't advertise vape because new law to come in. You can't have it on Google, you can't fuck Facebook ads, anything like that, you cannot do it. Yeah. I was like, get in the groups. Mm. And he was like, the social media paid, won't let me do it. I was like, fuck the paid. There's loads of groups. There's many groups for vape on Instagram. Yeah, get in the, yeah, get in the groups yeah. and go. Get in way. and go, oh, you run out of, never run out of vape. Yeah. Like, two in the morning going, oh, I'm nearly run out of vape. You go, oh, I must get that tomorrow. And you forget tomorrow. You can get it straight away. You know, so it's, it's things like that you get in the groups, contribute, yeah, which yeah. is the big thing. People want to go, oh, I don't get much recognition on social media. That's because you don't fucking contribute anything. That's the thing, like one of the questions we had, like just cutting you off, we, we had this question, nice. we, we killed it, it's gonna cut you off, Graham. It was like how important it is to create a community on social media, it is important. Huge. Even yeah. for a startup, like the vape one, for example, if they can get into that community, it's massive. That's so we've got, just start. Yeah. yeah. What's yours? Don't be putting in your money, word. don't be in putting your money, I don't have a, a word for it, but don't be putting your money into paid social because a lot of startups do, and then they yeah. fuck all their money away on it. Put your time into it and be social and get into the groups and contribute. And the final one? I think, I think with this one, right, is something that's so important is where companies give away, startups give away equity, right? When, need, when they need money, right, it's a lot easier to give away equity than it is to find money themselves, right? And I just think that there should be a, a careful balance yeah. on what you're giving away and what you can actually raise yourself. You know, so if you can get some money yourself, get it yourself, beg, borrow, I'm not gonna say steal, but steal. steal. You know, Fuck but steal it. You know, <laughs> like, accidentally. Yeah, look, yeah, and, yeah, and don't fine. get me wrong, I'm not saying don't give away any money to a venture capitalist. I'm not saying that our capital just, just be careful and yeah. research. Yeah. Research. What, yeah, 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 make sure you do. There was an investor in touch with us in the beginning and at the beginning as you've seen, it's a lot of retweets and all that sort of stuff that happens at the beginning and everyone's like, this is going to be hot, this is going to be big, it's brand new, no one's ever done it before. Mm. And so investors were like scratching at the door going, oh, I can not only kind of make money off this through sponsorship deals that it'll get, but also I can find startups and blah, blah, blah. And there was a few that tried to take us in this direction and that yeah, direction. Yeah. And You're going to go on them though. Like See, at the, the beginning, you at the, learn at the as beginning, you go along, you're like, so. oh, he's an, he's, an, he's an investor, so he, he knows. But when we look Easy back, to get excited. When we Easy. look back at that, 
where the fuck would we be if we listened to a few? Of them? Yeah, yeah. Because they go, we have this idea, and you do this and that, and we like we'd be on a completely different route. Yeah. You know, completely yeah. different. At least route. he wouldn't be here. <sighs> the drum is a great place to be, uh, just for beautiful. everybody ah, wondering. It is. Oh, let them just let them throw some shade. It's fine. They're sad. And um, <laughs> we've got our three <laughs> points in, and we've got our three points. Nice. You guys will probably do some writing up of that as well. Um, I'm just going to segue here. This is Social Buzz. This is Social Buzz Awards. You can now register to enter the awards. It will happen in November this year. And we're trying to expand big time. There's so many categories. And everybody who's on this show is part of it because they're creative. And you guys are creative. There you go. Segway done. Got it. It's part of... He didn't even, he didn't even, he didn't even, he didn't even tell us that was happening. No, no. I just went straight into it. It's how it goes. I don't know. Just go with it. I have a quick roll question for you, though. This has to finish it off. And you have to do it really quick. Why is London, I'm not reading, I'm reading. Why is London such a <laughs> Why? Why? Why is London? Fine, I haven't got my glasses on. Why is London such a burgeoning yeah, area for startups? Why? I think it's a community. And community is key? Community is key, yeah. 100%. But you do, we have people going in like, oh, and they come in to chat to us about startups. Oh, you have a startup and you have startups. And we go, what startup are you in? And they go, well, we're not in a startup, you know, but you're at a startup event. And then they say, yeah, but we, we, we love startups and we want to get into a startup because mm. it's the community and they go yeah. to community events and they're involved in the SM Buzz chats of the world and they're, they're involved in all this because they love it and they love the buzz and they love what's yeah. going on. Yeah, it's a great place to be as well. There's so, there is, there's a lot going on here. There's, a, yeah. there's always events yeah. going on. Like there's, there's Friday night's events, Thursday night events, and e even us here now, we've got a, a week long event. So there is always something going on yeah, here for right. startups, always. I don't know where else, um, we could be proven wrong, but we put out a couple of tweets and we had 250 startups, just like that, registered to come and they came and see it. You, you know, so where else can you do that? That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, gonna tie it up here. Like, I'm privileged to have these guys on this sofa because they know so much about startups. And if you want to learn anything from them, um, who wants to look down that camera and do your Twitter handle? Startup underscore van, thestartupvan.com. Check it out. And on YouTube? The Startup Van on YouTube. Oh, they're so branded, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like they had the idea before anyone else. <laughs> before anyone else. Before anyone <laughs> else who might happen to have Startup Van in their yeah. Twitter handle. We know who you are. Um, we'll, we'll get you. Vancouver. But also a point, we'll, a, a point we'll make is Start up Vancouver. Yeah. We know who you are. Yeah. Who you were just taking on the, the city. It's like but Vancouver. Anyone, we're yeah. a van. Anyone, anyone that reaches out to us, we get back to. Yeah. Reach out. Yeah. We actually spoke at Lean Startup at, that, at the last week and yeah. said that anyone who reaches out to us, and it's a big audience, we get back to. And yeah. Stephen, who hates being pointed out, who is our, who was our D-Rock who follows us there. around the whole there time. He, he was one of the first people to ever tweet us back in July. And now he comes with us everywhere. Good land. Now we can't even shake him off. Yeah, get off me, Just Steven. give him like a slow clap. Yeah. I'll do it, it's fine. I'm it. on my I'm own, on it's fine. Red. You're going red, too. He's moving around, he's going red. But that's, that, that's the point, is that another bit of startup advice, I know we're dragging on a bit, but is do not oh, no, don't ignore. Don't it out yet. We'll, we'll film it in an extra bit. No, no, no. We might as well. Film it now. No, got to finish it I'm off. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. We're over time. Get back to everybody. There you go. Get back to everybody. Mm. Um, thank you guys so much. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks uh, so much for having us, Adam. Really thank appreciate you. it. Thanks so much. We love the drum. He does love the drum. He said a lot of other things earlier that... It's all lies. I love the drum. Remember, go back through the back catalogue of what we have. There's so many videos here. There's Jeremy Waite. There's Ellie Herneman from Truffle Social. Uh, Holly Bennett will be up there soon like in the next few weeks or so. There's so much you can learn from all the videos we do. Make sure to follow us on Buzz Awards. Awards are now open for entry. Follow the drum at the drum. Ah, what else? What else? What else? The startup fan. Oh, that's it. That's it. I'm getting a thumbs up. Um, thank you very much, and we'll see you very soon. See you again, guys. See you, guys. Let's clap. Hello. Welcome to SM Buzz Chat here on YouTube. And as you can see behind me, there's some rides, but they're not going round anymore, so that's sad. Anyway, I'm joined by Linda Cab... Cabain. Cabain. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I don't get people's names wrong these days. Who is the global social media manager at Tiger?